and then do I really need to address um, the stupid controversy of the fucking people taking a knee during the national anthem? You know, watching all these white people getting fucking upset by that, like it real does it really affect your fucking life? And all these fucking idiots trying to make the point of what they're doing. It's not about your point, the people who started this thing. It's about my point. It's about the way that I see it, you know? I had a buddy of mine go, yeah, these fucking guys, they're making a million dollars, you know? You think it's bad here? Why don't you go fucking move to Syria? It's like, why do they have to move? Why can't they just live here the way you do? I don't understand that. And um, But Donald Trump is a fucking genius that he has everybody talking about this issue because he is trying to get everybody to stop focusing on the pool party he had with fucking Vladimir, what's his face over there in Russia. He doesn't want you watching that. He goes, oh, look at this over here, right? He goes down to Alabama and he gets all them fucking people all riled up and he keeps talking about this fatty over in fucking North Korea. That's what he's doing. It reminds me of when old fucking Slick Willie, you know, bombed that country because he stuck his cigar in that woman's nether region. This is the type of sick people that become president. This is what they do. All right. They get caught doing some fucked up shit. And then I will say this about Trump. At least he didn't go bomb some people. Unlike what's his face with his bitch hands who now gets treated like a fucking hero. I don't understand that guy at all. You know what I mean? Oh, how you doing? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I got caught getting my dick sucked in the Oval Office. So I bombed the country. I might have killed the baby, but I sleep like one every night. Um, I know. I'm a conspiracy theorist. I fucking hate them all. Did you see that thing? Uh, what's his face? In fucking uh, Korea considered that we declared war on him, right? So uh, uh, Maggie Magenhall, whatever her fucking name is, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal. What is, the, what is the fucking, the poor woman who has to go out and fucking give the press conferences now because that dude with no neck, you know, who kind of looks like the political version of Roger Goodell went out there and fucked it all up. What the hell's her name? She's got a classic political name. I don't know what the hell it is. She said the fact that North Korea thinks that we're at war with them is absolutely preposterous or something like that. And then like a week before, what's his face? Trump basically tweeted like that that fatty over there wasn't long for this earth. It's like he kind of just said he's not going to last. He's not going to be around long. That's what he said. I mean, I would take that as a threat. Old haberdash versus haberdash. Um, you know what they really need to do? They both need to just go to a whorehouse together and fucking grow up, you know? bang a couple of whores. They need to do a threesome, right? One of them's getting blown, the other's hitting it doggy style, and just their eyes meet, and they just start laughing. Being like, this is a great life, right? You got a personal chef too? Yeah, it's fucking amazing. You live in a castle, live in a white house. I mean, it's fucking, it's cool. They should just talk about, you know, trade stories the way comedians trade stories about bombing. They could just talk about fucking bombing other countries and I don't know what, fishing. Whatever, whatever people at that level talk about. All right. Let's get to the questions for this week. So I, I don't have any fucking problem uh, with these, these guys taking a knee. Uh, I try to listen to what it's about rather than getting wrapped up in what, uh, what, what it means to me. 